Hello, welcome to Mujas Academy. So there we have before the question. We're treating this topic today. This is a subtopic in mathematics. All right. So we have fraction here. In fraction, fraction is like a is like a decimal. Uh, it's, a, it's just another version of decimal. Okay. Because in uh, a fraction, we have the we have like fraction, so we have a over b right here. So the a on top is the numerator, and why the b is the denominator. All right. So I'm just using the letter. I'm just using letters or alphabet to represent this because that's what we do in algebra, right? So a could be one, a could be two, a could be whatever number. And B could be three or whatsoever, right? So we have fraction here. So we have A over B, which is the numerator over denominator, right? And besides that, we have types of fractions. We have three types of fractions, right? But right here, I have two. So we have one, we have two. So I'm going to put the third one as we proceed, right? We have a long way to go in this case because I'm going to treat everything step by step. In such a way, like everybody can understand it, right? So, types of fraction we have proper fraction and we have improper fraction. So, a fraction is said to be proper whenever the numerator is lesser than the denominator, right? Because what we have here, you see, one is lesser than two. So, that's why it's what we call proper fraction. And the second one, you can see, two is lesser than three. Mm -hmm. So, which means three can carry two, right? It can carry two on top of itself, right? So, that's why it's called proper fraction. It's said to be proper because what is on top is lesser than what is above, right? So, in the other case, we have improper fraction. A fraction is said to be improper when the numerator is bigger than the denominator, right? So, in this case, as we can see, we can see seven is bigger than two. That is improper. And in the other case, we can see five is bigger than three, is improper. So that is kind of like awkward, or well, some people will say weird, whatever language you're gonna use. So when something is unusual, something like unusual, weird, awkward, whatever. So this is not proper, but this is not a normal way a number should be presented, right? So in this case, we refer to this as well, improper fashion, right? And in our turn to reverse, Improper fraction to proper fraction, mixed fraction is obtained. In that case, we have what mixed fraction, right? A, a, a fraction is said to be mixed fraction when you have a whole number and what a fractional part of it, right? In that case, we're going to say mixed fraction is going to be like this. Let me put a black ink. That's going to be the third one, right? Mixed fraction. Pardon me, my pen is messing up. Miss fraction, right? So this is miss fraction. For example, I have two. I have one over two. This is miss fraction. I could have a uh, one. Two over two. This is, this is a misfraction, right? So this is misfraction. When we are trying to resolve improper fraction, we arrive at what misfraction is always. Whenever you try to reverse improper fraction to be proper, you will always what arrive at what misfraction. So that's why we have this word misfraction right here, right? So these are misfraction, right? So as we proceed. We're probably gonna look at a few examples. Simple one, not really difficult, not really complicated because we're just starting this topic right here. So as we proceed, we're gonna be seeing a lot of difficult ones. So complex ones. So that's really kind of like more challenging, right? So now we have mixed fraction already. We have a proper fraction. We have a improper fraction. I'm just gonna give some, some example and see how we're gonna work resolve this, right? Um, Notice also whenever, oh, oh, I think I'm missing something now. Okay, all right. 
So we're gonna we're gonna do this real quick. So let me get some more. Uh, let me get some uh, GD uh, past GD question right here. So we're gonna convert this to proper fraction, right? Convert the following. Convert the following. So, what the following to proper fashion? Convert the following to proper fashion. So, I'm going to use a black ink here, right? So we have like two answer, uh, two questions here we're going to work on. So we have a uh, we have twenty two over seven, and we have a uh, thirteen over nine, right? These are not proper. So as you can see, this fraction here, they're not normal. So we got to make them normal. So we have to make it proper. Sorry about that. So we have to make this fraction proper. So this is 22 over 7. And the other one is all. Uh, the other one is 13 over 9. Excuse me. Pardon. Okay, I'm back. So we have 22 over 7 and we have a 13 over 9. So let's see this. So this is just like another way of division, right? You could have a decimal, whatever. So this is just another way of division, right? So we have the uh, we have the dividend, which is the one on top, and we have the device. So you could call it that way. So the dividend is also not what the numerator, and the device so is also not what the denominator. Okay. So how do we do this? So we're gonna say how many seven we have in 22? It's gonna be three, right? We have three. So we have three seven in 22. Then 22 divided by seven is gonna be three. We made a one, right? So the one you have put it on top right here and put seven at the bottom, right? So in an attempt to reverse improper fraction to a proper fraction because this wasn't proper, we try to bring this back to proper fraction. What we what we arrive at. So we, we end up having what missed fraction. Because why do we end up having a missed fraction? Because we have a whole number right here. We have a whole number right here. And we have fraction right here. Right? So we end up having what? Miss fraction. And in the other case, we have 13 over 9. So look at this. How many 13? How many 9 do you have in 13? You just want, right? So when you minus, when you take when you take 9 out of 13, what should that left? So what do you have left? It's gonna be like a uh, 4, right? That's 4. Then we have 4 on top. So that's gonna be what the dividend or the or the numerator, right? Put it on top and put it 9 at the bottom. So which is the denominator or the word divisor? So we have a whole number and we have a fraction. So the one right here is a whole number. And the other parts, let me use red ink. This one right here is a whole number. This one right here is a fraction. Okay. So I don't have a, I don't have enough space. I would have just kind of like wrote this down. So this is the whole number, mind you, and the other part of it is a whole fractional part of it. So let's look at some few examples. I'm going to take my pen back to black. So let's look at the other ones. So we're converting this one to the, we convert it to what? Improper fraction, right? So I'm going to reverse this, something like that. So let me just put it here. So these are GD pass question I'm solving. At. Okay, I'm simplifying. So convert the following.
So I'm converting the following to improper fashion. So what do we have? We have theory over one, theory, theory O number one over seven, and we have 12 number one over two, right? So look at this, look at this fraction, right? So these are expression, right? So the first one you have three old number. Let me take my ink back to red. So you have three old number, one over seven, and the fractional part of it is one over seven, and the whole part of it is three, just three, right? So how do you do this? So first of all, you're gonna say seven times three, right? Multiply that seven by three, okay? Seven times three, that's what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, Seven times zero, three times seven. Seven times three, right? It's gonna give what? 21 equals what? 21. Seven times three, 21. And plus the dividend or the numerator. So you're gonna say plus one. That will give you what? That will give you 22, right? And the seven, which is the divisor or the denominator, is going to be under this. You're going to say over seven. That's it. Now, we obtain what? What do we have right here? We have improper fraction. Right? This is improper fraction. We just reverse it. Right? We take it, we can take fra proper fraction. We can take an improper fraction to proper fraction, to miss fraction. And we can take mixed fraction back to improper fraction, right? So that's what we just did right here. So this, we obtained improper fraction. So we have a 22 over 7. This is awkward. It's weird, right? It's not supposed to be so. In the normal cases, whenever you are doing any mathematical expression that involve fraction, you have to make sure, ideally, make sure your answer is presented in what proper fraction, okay? So you can never leave your answer like this. This is a taboo. This is abominable when it comes to the world. That must be All right. So let me take the other one. The other one says, it just the same method we use in doing everything. Okay. So the other one says, the other one says 12, right? 12 will number one over two. So how do we do this? Just the same method I used for the first one. The same method I use for this. So we're going to say, we're going to say 12 times two, right? 12 times two will give you what? 12 times two is gonna give you 24. Right, right? Yes. That's 24. Plus one, which is the, the, the dividend, right? The numerator, right? Plus one, that will give you what? 25. This will give you 25, all right? So we have 25. So in that case, we have two on that list. So you're gonna say 25 over two. So right here, we have what? Improper fraction. So these two, these two guys, these two guys, these two guys are improper fraction, right? So this is what we get. We obtain in an attempt for all, to reverse proper fraction, improper fraction whatsoever. So it's vice versa, right? So these are improper fraction we have, we obtain at the end. So we're gonna draw the cutting here. Thank you, everybody. Uh, please make sure you like and uh, subscribe to my channel, please. And if you have anything, any question you want to ask, leave it at the comment section below. Thank you so much. See you next time. Have a great day.